Imagine a place with fishes and exotic wetland birds, camels who live on both dry land and swim in seawater, and a native animal herding community feeding their livestock on the vast flat grasslands. All these activities are the major features of the island of Aliabate, situated in the estuary of the river Narmada, which is 145 kilometers from the Sardar Sarovar Dam. Due to its location, Aliabate experiences saltwater and river water intrusions during high tides and ebb, respectively, leading to the formation of the brackish water. The island is infamous for getting entirely submerged during the high high tides of the monsoon season. Over the period of years, the construction of the dam has caused a reduction in the pressure of the river water to wash the island during ebb, which has resulted in the deposition of sea sediments in and around the island closing down an entire river channel, forming connections to the mainland. In the absence of the fundamental process for the formation of the brackish water, the island has undergone heavy ecological depletion affecting its dependent biodiversity. The proposed strategy to revive the island is threefold. Firstly, to restore the edge of the island by planting salt-tolerant species of the mangroves to control sediment filtration. Secondly, by constructing two separate layers of the earthen dams with a difference in elevation at strategic locations in which the lower layer of dam restricts the spring tides but allows the flooding of the high high tides and the second layer of dam restricts the flooding of the high high tides and strictly conserves rainwater. The final measure for revival is to provide cultivation areas for the native community to grow its own fodder for its livestock giving them a sense of responsibility towards the resources of the island. It is vital to conserve this patch of land because of its key ecological services to our climate and countless unique species.